Hey guys, this is Ironhide City 17 with my 100th video review. For my 100th video review, we are taking a look at Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Blackwing. Now, this figure is a repaint and a remold of the Autobot Aerialbot Air Raid. Now, like the Dreadwind figure I reviewed a couple years ago, I actually got these guys to be my temporary aerial bots because I have the Silverbolt from Combiner Wars, who I probably will review next. Now, so before I get into the actual figure himself, I'm going to show off the package. So here we have the package. Very nice shot of Blackwing himself in robot mode. It says Blackwing here on the bottom, power of the primes. And on the side, or on the back here, we have his bio. How will the dark-minded Decepticon mercenary wield the power of the primes. Mm. And then he's a very nice F-15 here. And then the Prime Master co-sellers are Liege Maximo, Alpha Trion, and Alchemist Prime. So... I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way real quick. And then show you what accessories you have here. You have his prime armor, which is in a nice powder blue. Almost matches the blue of the figure. You get the instruction booklet. And his collector's card, which in my case, I got Soulless Blackwing Forges Twisted Machines to Torture Autobots. Hmm. And in this case, I did come prepared with the correct Prime Master. And actually, both my Blackwing... And Dreadwind came with Prime Master cards that I have the Prime Masters for. So, he also has these two little pistols for robot mode. So, here is the jet itself, which is Blackwing. Again, remold of Air Raid, and he is a, a very nice remold. Now, the Prime Master gimmick is such that you take the Prime Master, or Prime Armor, and take out where'd it go? this part and plug in the Prime Armor, which is like how he was a power master. And then I'll take the Solus. Yep, Solus Prime Master and plug him in. So now he's got the power of the primes. So he can twist machines to torture Autobots now. So we'll put that off to the side for now. So the guns here do attach to the what will be the robot arms. And for a quick size comparison, 
here he is with his partner, Dreadwind. Who both look really good in jet mode. I personally prefer Blackwing better, but Dreadwind, if you watched my review, is not a bad figure at all. Now, transformation for this guy is actually a lot more complex than I initially thought. So we'll take off the guns. To start, we'll take off the guns here. There we go. And since he is a combiner, I do have someone here to become the torso. Take these wing, or actually, sorry, take the arms and unpeg them. And then I like to adjust the wings here so they're up pointing towards the fuselage. Open up the back and accordion out the legs like that. And then split that apart, fold up the robot arms, F unpeg and fold back the nose of the jet, oh, and you can fold down these tail wings, or fold them in, and turn around the head. And then I'll give him his little guns. Now, I'm going to be honest here, Blackwing, when I first got him, I was ready to love this figure, and I ended up enjoying him a lot. I ended up enjoying him. He is one of, if not, the best de deluxe Decepticons I've ever transformed and played with. Now... Really quick, I'm going to go ahead and transform his partner here off camera. Because I want to give you a good size comparison of the duo. Together. Because according to G1, they are supposed to be partners. So again, here is the Dreadwind figure next to Blackwing, who is renamed, who was originally named who was originally named Darkwing in G1. So I'm going to put these two on the turntable here. Now these two do combine, but I'll put a picture up here because I don't want to do that. I'll probably do that sometime and then do another video for it. Now remember how I mentioned these guys do combine? Well, here I have the Combiner Wars Silverbolt in the back. These guys combine, like, power of, like, Combiner Wars, or arms and legs. So, like I said in the Dreadwind review, each of these guys, the Deluxes, have a or an arm and leg mode. So I think I'm gonna start with the leg mode this time. I think I started with the arm 
first in black in um the other review. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna start with the leg first. So remove the guns. Recombine the legs. And actually get his head. Oh, actually, I forgot to do pose ability. Jeez. I'm going to do pose ability first. Now, pose ability, since I forgot to do that, head is on a hinge and a ball joint due to transformation. Oops, that went down. Ball joint in the shoulder, bicep rotation, and a ratcheted elbow. Torso articulation, ball joint in the hip, thigh swivel, and a hinge knee. So sorry I forgot articulation. Now let's do the leg. Speaking of legs, combine the legs, legs together. I like to turn the head around for this and then unpeg it like so. And then get this whole part just hanging back like that temporarily. And open up the legs and then collapse them back down. So it's like the um, jet mode, but with a few configura reconfigurations. So now we've gotten him to this point. So, oh, and fold down his arms. And then put the nose cone right I suppose, and these two tab holes will go where these two tabs are for the nose of the jet. Whoops. And this is a little slippery. I know this thing likes to slip out of my hands. There we go. And get these back in. I like to fold up the wings, oops, and flip out the connector. Last but not least, we'll take a foot and his prime armor, and I'll plug those together. And according to G1, Air Raid, who he's remolded of again, I believe was on this side. Could be wrong on that. I'm trying to remember. And then I'm going off camera here to get the get his get the other one in leg mode as well because I want to show the two of them together. In all of their modes. And 
so I think it's like that, how they're supposed to go, like, in G1. So then I'll put them on like so. Oops. If I'm wrong on that, um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments where um, the air raid mold was supposed to go in the G1 configuration, which leg he was. So there he is as a leg. And I think he looks good as a leg, in my opinion. Which I'll angle up here a bit. He looks good as a leg. Now I know I don't have any arms on Superion, because that's who I'm using for the core. But when I do get the other, but when I get the official aerial bots, I'll do the, those that review. So yeah. Now let's get these off, and I'll turn in them into arms. I'll turn Blackwing into an arm. But of course, I'm going to do the same to, of course, Blackwing, or Dreadwind. I get them mixed up. Okay, so, let me take off the foot plate and split this apart, and then I'm gonna, he's gonna go on this side, so. So, to make him the, which, which let me check here, which arm is he supposed to be? Like a lot of reviewers say, never hurts to check. Yep, I am correct. He is supposed to go on the right arm. I am correct. He is the right arm. All right. <clears throat> so I'm correct. Okay. Right arm. Let's, uh, we're gonna unpeg the arms again, and actually unplug the entire back here just to get it out of the way. Extend the legs, or return the legs to their extended position. Put the arms down for a minute, and then Return the wings like so, or position this stuff like so, and then bring this down. Now this is where it gets cool. Take the arms and fold them up, and there are these pegs here. Let's see if my light can get this. I'll angle my light here so you can see. Right there. Rotate the arm in like so. Rotate the swivel here at the bicep, and they peg in right there. So, do that again. And then, there is the arm mode. Now I'll make the other arm really quick. Let me go ahead and make the other arm 
real quick because I want to have them both in arm form. And I know I'm talking to myself, but. So this one is. And if I said right, I meant to say he's the left arm. Blackwing is the left. I am sorry about that. And I'm actually going to put Blackwing's little guns here real quick in the hands and then I'll bring back Superion who we will give oops, some arms which I can utilize the arm connectors now So here we have arm mode. It still looks good. To be honest, it looks really good, to be honest. Even with the wings on it, it looks good. And what I also like is it can actually hold not one, but two, <coughs> two guns. This configuration can hold not one, but two guns. So, to be honest, I enjoy Blackwing a lot. Seriously. Personally, I think he is one of the stronger limbs in the Power of the Primes set, or series, so far. And... Seriously, I think this is one of the best combiner limbs, or combiner limb figures out there and the simple reasoning behind that is like he's got all of his modes look good very easy to transform he actually is a very well built toy and he he just doesn't want to break into a lot of pieces like a lot of figures do and that's a good thing because a lot of transformer toys I've had seem to break after a while and even though I just got this figure a few weeks ago or about a month ago He really feels like an excellent toy. Like, he feels excellent, actually. And He's a welcome addition to the Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Decepticons.
and I've never had a black wing slash dark wing ever in my shell on my shelf before before this guy. So my the figure for my 100th video review, I'm giving this guy a very strongly recommended medal. Really. So, if you see this guy on Amazon for a good price, this one's getting a very strongly recommended medal. And I mean very strongly recommended. He's an excellent figure. Just, just excellent. I have absolutely no, no complaints about this thing whatsoever. So, thanks guys for helping me reach 100 videos. I'm, Iron, I'm Ironhide City 17 Definitely pick this one up if you get a chance. And I'll see you next time.